Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about reverting the OnePlus 3T back to stock. Also this guide can help you to unbreak your phone. If your phone is not starting up, it is completely dead. You just need to power it off completely and follow the steps in this particular tutorial. You just need to make sure all your data is backed up. You have more than 50% battery in settings under developer options. OEM unlocking is enabled and you should be good to go. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's begin. Alright guys, so as you can see on the screen, uh, currently I'm running Android Oreo, which is a test build, Hydrogen OS, Android 8.0. It's a pretty pretty stable operating system no major problems here but then again a beta is a beta so some of you might want to go back to stock so what we're going to do first is we're going to power the device off and we're going to do this to ensure that the bootloader on the phone is unlocked now to check that press and hold the power and volume button up once the phone is powered off now if it says device state locked we need to unlock this now before you do this back up all your data internal memory apps everything will be wiped so we will proceed with the unlocking later but first let's download the files we need so the links which you see on the screen are also mentioned in the description what I would request you guys to do is download all the three files one by one First up, let's download Minimal ADB and Fast Boot. It's a very, very small file. So just go ahead and download it and install it on your computer. Obviously, you should be running a Windows based computer to do all this. And uh, it will be great if you have a fast internet connection because Oxygen OS 4.5 is around 1.5 gigabytes and the Restore firmware or the Unbrick tool itself is another 1.5 gigabytes. Now the downloading will take time so I will skip this particular part just make sure you have all the three files in or at least these two files in a particular folder on your desktop or wherever you are comfortable. Let's move to the next step now. Okay, okay. now considering all the files are downloaded, first things first, we're gonna click on next, next, next and we're gonna install minimal ADB and fast boot so the drivers would not be a problem. Next, we're gonna extract the unbrick tool. Extract it to your desktop or wherever it is comfortable for you. Should take five to seven minutes to extract. Now, once you open this particular folder, you will see the MSM download tool. Now, this is the utility we are going to use to bring your phone back to stock. Now, once again, let me warn you, you need to back up all your data because everything will be erased. So getting back to the phone, it is in a locked state right now. What we're going to do next is we're going to connect your phone to the computer using a USB cable. So just go ahead and launch command prompt or minimal ADB and fast boot that we installed a while ago. And type in fast boot space OEM space unlock and hit enter. Now the moment you do this, you will see this on your screen. So use the volume up or volume down button to highlight the yes part and then click on the power button press the power button so that it will erase everything and it will unlock your bootloader so give it a few minutes say four or five minutes it will boot into recovery and it will erase everything and then it will try to reboot again now once the erase part is done and it tries to boot again you can just press volume down or volume up and select the power off option and press the power button to power it off and disconnect the cable okay now 
Press and hold just the volume up button while the phone is powered off and connect your USB cable. And the moment your computer detects it, it will give you a sound prompt, something like this. And leave the phone connected. So go to your computer now, click on start, type device manager and open device manager. Now under device manager, if you go to ports, you will see something like this, Qualcomm, H HS USB and something random stuff over there. That is how your phone is named. That is how your restore tool will be able to detect the phone. So not in fast boot or not in recovery. This is the mode. This is a diagnostic mode we should be in. And if it is detected like that on your computer, you're good to go to the next step. The next logical step. Yes. Right click on the MSM download tool and open it. And you should see com device listed here. That means your phone is detected properly and just click on start. Now this flashing will take five to seven minutes. I've skipped through it. So please be patient while the flashing is done. And once this is done, just disconnect your phone and press and hold the power button until you see the phone booting up. Now the first boot obviously will take five to 10 minutes. So please don't panic. It is not a boot loop. It will boot up and upon boot up, just go through the initial setup, skip everything up and you will notice that it has gone to a very, very old version of Oxygen OS, which is based off Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. Now at this point, you're on a lock boot loader on a complete stock firmware. You can continue on your own from here. All you can do is you can just go to system updates and you will have the OTA update for 4.5.1. You can do that or you can copy the 4.5.0 file that you downloaded from the link in the description and copy it to the phone's internal memory. And what you need to do next to get to 4.5.0 is something I'll show you now. So go to settings, go to about phone, go to build number and tap it seven times. Now go back and go to developer options, click on advanced reboot and enable it. There you go. Press and hold the power button. Click on reboot, select recovery and select reboot again. All right. Now in a couple of seconds, maybe 10 seconds or so, it will boot into recovery as you can see on the screen. All right. So select English using the volume down buttons and press the power button to select. Okay. Install from local storage is what we will select. It will, it will show us the 4.5.0 zip. So select the power button and click on install package. Yes. And then give it a few minutes and you should be good to go. Now, once the installation is done, it will ask you if you want to reboot. So just select reboot and then select reboot. Make sure it should say install success. So you've successfully locked your bootloader, upgraded to the latest stable oxygen OS 4.5.0 without causing any harm to your OnePlus 3T. So that was the guide for you guys. If you have any questions, make sure you mention them in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more amazing videos. Goodbye.